An audio interface is essentially an analog to digital converter. What it does is take the analog signal from your mic and turns it to a digital signal that the computer can understand. The computer already has one built in, but it doesn't sound or function nearly as well as an external one. What is up guys, tech is life, and today we're going to be looking at different audio interfaces and understanding what they do and why you should invest in one. A good interface has good mic preamps, zero latency, and able to do exactly what you need it to do. Audio Interfaces has the mic preamp built inside, and what it does is take the signal from your mic and boost it. The zero latency comes in handy at this point because when you're listening back to the recording through the interface, you hear it in real time, there's no delay or distortion. You hear exactly what the sound is supposed to sound like. Having an interface to record is a huge benefit because now it gives you way more outputs than your computer offers. Also with an interface you get direct control over the sound. An audio interface is super important when it comes to doing any type of recording, whether you're recording a band, a singer, or just recording yourself in front of a camera. An audio interface will really step up your quality level. There are many audio interfaces out there, some with lots of ports, some with not that many, and some with just one. But they all work the same way. Firstly, before I continue, let me say some USB mics got the audio interface built right in so they do all the signal processing inside. It can turn up the mic gain, it offers more in turn at zero latency, but that's really where all the similarities end. Audio interfaces, they all essentially do the same thing. A common misconception is that different sound interfaces sound different, which is not entirely true. All their interface does is clean up the sound, keeping it as identical to the original source as possible so that when it enters inside the computer, you can mix and master it as much as you want in post-production. But if you don't believe me, tell me, did you notice a difference in the sound before? Because I've used all three of the different interfaces so far. So essentially all the interface does is allow you to get a nice, good, clean sound the first time. So what's the difference if they all do the same thing? Well, the main difference is your purpose. If you're just going to be recording yourself talking into the mic, no instruments, no monitoring, all you need is that 48 volt phantom power, then the blue icicle works just fine. The problem occurs when you need an, to add a second mic or an instrument. That's when you should consider upgrading to something more professional, like the Scarlett 2i2. This is one of the best interfaces on the market that you can get, very flexible and portable. If you're serious about audio recording and want to get into the next level, you should definitely consider picking this one up. But even the 2i2 is limited. What if your whole goal is to record an entire band and need ports for a drummer, a keyboardist, a guitar player, and a lead singer? Well, that's when the Tascam US1800 will come in handy. It has 16 inputs and 4 outputs with direct control over all of them. Rather than being a consumer product like the rest, it's a prosumer product where this is for when you're going to be developing at a really high level and plan on utilizing all the inputs. So in conclusion, which one should you get? Like I said, to answer that, first off, you gotta ask what is it that you're doing. Any of these interfaces are good, but they serve different functions. In my opinion, the best choice would be to get the Scarlett 2i2 because it's right in the middle and does a great job of keeping balance and easy to be integrated into a workflow. Can't go wrong with that. Unless you're doing some major production, the 2i2 is perfect. Audio interfaces are only half the equation though when it comes to a good audio setup and recording station. Leave a like on this video if you want to see more on the setup side and how to achieve the perfect sound. With that said, if you're still not sure on which one to get and want to see a more detailed looking comparison between more interfaces, let me know, leave a like, let's see if we can get 2 likes on this video, comment what you're interested in, I really like to help in decision making. Anyways peeps, hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, subscribe if you're new, and as always, tag his life.